Hey everybody, it's Amanda and Tyrone, and I got a request to show how to use uh, elbow strikes and to show where on the body in order to strike most effectively. So we're going to go over that. I think that if you're feeling threatened and you're going to go into a fight, um, you probably should be standing. <laughs> like if I'm, if I'm sitting down on a, let's say I'm sitting down on a bench, like I'm already at a disadvantage here. Um, so, you know, if, if someone's coming up and I'm in the, the issue of like striking him, um, I don't want to hit, give him the advantage of having the, the higher ground, so to speak. So if you can, try to stand up and assume your tactical stance. So yeah, I have one leg a little bit in front of the other and I'm kind of sitting equal so my weight is distributed. I don't want to be on one foot or another so that way it's a little bit easier for me not to get knocked over. This way, uh, instead of being here in each other's face, it kind of gives me a little bit of room so that I can react to anything that he might throw at me or I have a little bit of space to kind of step out and reassess what's going on. Let's talk about standing elbow strikes and where you want to hit on your attacker. So if I'm, uh, first of all, elbows are obviously a lot shorter of a range than a punch. So if I'm out here, this would be punching range, all right? I have my foot out, we're uh, a little bit more distant than being closer range. So this is more full strikes where I'd be going for the chin, I'd be going for the throat, uh, you know, like eye gouge if you're Krav Maga type of person. With elbow strikes, you're going to be in a much closer range. So, yeah, yeah, so instead of far out here, you're more in, in close and personal. So, you know, if say like he wants to, you know, he's got like a grab on me or something, like I'm not going to be able to cock back and get a punch in, right? Otherwise... Um, if I do try to do that in this range, he's going to see me, I'm going to have to generate the force back and he's can, he can easily either move out of the way, step into the range so I can't actually, um, complete it, something like that. But with elbows, you're already here, you're already fighting and it's easy to just kind of come up and hit a chin or you can hit him in the, in the chest, in the sternum. Uh, which is a really good, really good spot is uh, you can get it like right in the solar plexus if they're coming from behind. So instead of going straight up, you're coming straight back and you're driving it into uh, that little soft spot right underneath the rib cage, like where they teach you to do the Heimlich. <laughs> um, so we'll go over that real quick just because I brought it up. The Heimlich? <laughs> no, the elbow strike from behind. <laughs> so, uh, with the strike from behind, one arm is going to be, you know, kind of kind of terrible, right? But if you want to generate a little bit more force, you can grab your other hand over your fist and you're going to use both to strike back as fast as you can, bam, right into that, and then you're going to push, all right? So it's a strike, push, and then you can again turn, face your opponent, uh, kind of see what they're they're going for and either if they're hurt if they're doubled over you're like oh god what just happened then you can run or if they're you know still squared up ready to fight you that's when you can start doing your your other techniques so let's say um my attacker i'm already you know i was sitting reading a book or whatever and uh you know, my, my attacker comes up, I see him from a little bit farther away. First thing I want to do is I want to get up and instead of being square with my feet, I want to make sure that I can have one foot back. So this case, you know, say I, say I just stood up, this, he would probably want to push me back down so he has the upper hand, right? Yeah, so I'd like push back down, all of a sudden I'm seated, my legs are out of the equation, all I have is this like weird angle where my arms are probably going to come out and that's really not where I want to be. So ideally what you want to do is if you're sitting, you want to make sure, you know, if you have a problem coming up to you, <laughs> that you want to make sure you can stand up and get into your stance before anything physical happens. 
So he pushes me. I'm trying to make sure I'm like, hey man, what's going on? No, nah, we ain't we ain't here for them words. <laughs> we fight. So I want to make sh I want to try right now. What I'm doing is I'm trying to control his arms at as close to his shoulders as possible. Because if I'm if I'm more out here, more than likely, like I'm I'm a strong girl, but more than likely he's gonna be stronger than me. All right. So the <laughs> the farther out on his limb, the harder it is for me to control him. Yeah, All right. Notice. Yeah, he's got a lot of mobility here. Versus if I come in, I have my elbows close, and I try to go for the shoulders. Immediately, I'm gonna have turn. I'm gonna have all of this space, and also the the advantage of um, controlling it. So if he's got if he's got the inside, yeah, he's he's got he's got the advantage here of moving me around. If I come in here, I can grab onto his shoulders. I can use my elbows inside of his arm in order to control like the direction that we're going. I can um, see if he's trying to wind up for a hit. Yeah, so if he comes back, I can also use my elbow to avoid contact there. Yeah, so elbows on the inside of an attacker, number one, definitely. You don't wanna, you don't wanna be like flayed out and all of a sudden you're just totally uh, defenseless. So, go back to our scenario of you know, it comes up, I grab inside of the shoulders, and either in this, in this range, this would be good for, um, I'd want to either like go for a knee to the groin, or if I feel like I have control over his shoulder, or I can grab the back of his neck, I can bring him down, and I can knee him in that solar plexus area. <laughs> So if I bring him down, knee him in that solar plexus, go here, and then I still have my hand on the back of his neck for control. All right, so if I want to come up, back up, do it again, I can bring him even lower to knee him into his face. <laughs> and pretty much you just want to make sure you have a control. You don't want to, you don't want to like, you know, grab him quickly and then try to bring him down. And then when you try to bring your knee up, he comes back up and you're like, oh, you try, yeah, you try to knee me, whatever. Like you're gonna, you're gonna get this hand, or you're gonna, I'm gonna stomp you under the ground. Like you don't wanna, you don't wanna end up in that. Get this hand. <laughs> <laughs> Places that I'm aiming for on the chest, right here, that little solar plexus that I was talking about. Also, uh, anywhere in the sternum hurts more than if you're going for the muscle of the chest. Um, so aim for like the bone, part of the sternum, uh, clavicles, clavicles, neck, anything soft, mm. mouth, nose, eyes, you can grab ears. Um, that's pretty much good for, for your upper body. What about them close range elbows? How can you throw them while I'm like all up on you? Show me that. Okay. So, so I'm here, I'm all up on you. So close range what elbows. First thing I want to do, I already got, I got one elbow in. I want to try to swim in, either push my elbow off of uh, having him have control of my hips because I don't want that. Or if he's here and say he's got like a really, really tight grip, still want to keep this arm as a frame. So I don't want to, I don't want to try to attack with this arm if I have this one free. So this one um, is either going to grab his shoulder or um, his neck and I'm gonna use it to frame so even if he tries to push in right now yeah so he like even if he tries to push in my frame is keeping him from closing this distance this distance is giving me reaction time all right so we're here I'm gonna use this back arm as my attacker all right so he's trying to he's trying to go for the hip he's got my clothes right now and I'm gonna just take this elbow and I'm coming in and I can either go uh, straight to the chest and push, or up to the chin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, if they're grabbing you a little bit higher, let's say like, yeah, like in the armpit, obviously you don't want to, you can't really do a vertical elbow. So this is when I would come around and kind of come down. So it's a, uh, it's like a downward striking elbow. So this way, I can't really get the, mo the motion in there. My arm is blocked by his arm. So instead of coming up, I'm coming up and around and down right into the nose. Sorry. <laughs> Just like that. 
It's about headbutts. Anybody ask about headbutts? No. Oh, okay. Headbutts are cool. You can headbutt. However, um, you're pretty much taking your advantage out of it. Like, you're just hoping that your head is harder than the other person's head and that you can hopefully not get a concussion from it by giving somebody else a concussion. So, like, there are different parts of your head that you can, like, um, use better as a battering ram, but, like, you know, my head controls all of this, and so I want to try to keep my head as safe and bubble-wrapped as possible if I can. Um, I don't want to, like, if I got my fists, I don't want to, like, go ahead and, like, try to ram you. Fair. Yeah. Okay. So no headbutts. <laughs> don't do headbutts, people. Not advised. Not advised. Yeah. <laughs> it's just for me, you know. You do you. It's your fighting style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if somebody's attacking me, is don't feel bad. Don't like be like, oh man, I'm so sorry that I'm gonna have to hurt you. And then like kind of throw like a 30% power punch. Like if someone is attacking you, they mean you harm. And if they want to hurt you, you need to hurt them. It's a good now or a good way to think about it. Well, actually, let's let's start with you. So you were asked if you've ever been uh, kneed or kicked in the groin, and if it hurts as bad as people say that it does. Yeah, it's awful. An average. It it's debilitating. It is it, it, it worse? Hits and it radiates to your stomach, and I mean, you just you buckle over almost immediately. Is it worse than a kick to the leg? Yes. Okay. There you have it. Um, obviously, I have different body parts than him, but um, in sparring, I have been like kicked in the liver, which is one of those things. It's like, I don't know if, you know, fighters out there, you don't understand what I'm talking about, but um, I'm not saying go kick somebody in the liver, but. Or get kicked in the liver. Yeah, so your liver is right here on your right side. So if you ever watch like a UFC fight and they're fighting and they're doing like these headshots or whatever and then you see one person do a really good body shot and then all of a sudden, you know, that fighter is on the ground and they call it a TKO. Oh. Yeah, and like you're just like, okay, oh. I don't get it. Like he's doing a... <laughs> Maybe not that much. Um, hey, like you're wondering like why... I don't understand. Like he didn't really get hit that hard. Like he just got hit in, in the side. Like... You get the wind knocked out of them? No, no, no. So getting hit in the liver is like a really crazy experience because you get hit in the liver, you're like, all right, cool. Like braced against it, kind of hurt, and you're still mentally in the fight, but your body is like, all of a sudden, it takes like two seconds for your body to realize, ow, oh my God, ow. And then you're like, oh, like you can't, you can't even control your body at that point because it's like, it's so painful that... Your body does what it wants, even though your mind is still in the game. So, uh, only thing that I can, that's pretty much the only thing I can compare it to for um, women versus like men. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good comparison. Right? What about boobs? Do boobs hurt to get hit in? I mean, it's like uncomfortable, but, but not it's, debilitating. Yeah, it's it's like why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> but I was also asked if I have ever kicked somebody in the groin. Um, in either like a self-defense or like martial arts setting, uh, it was by accident, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to, um, you know, just sparring sometimes, you know, I'm a taller person fighting against shorter people and that just kind of like rides up. And so I've accidentally kicked people in the groin before, um, but you know, they were, they were fine. It was okay. It was okay. Work up. Always wear a cup. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoy this. And uh, thank you for your patience. And I will not be joined by my beautiful husband for the next video since he is going to be going to somewhere in the world without me. But it's okay. Um, it'll be me. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't, know. I don't know how to end this. So, bye!